Hi, I'm Wes. Welcome to the second video in my Get Response series. So the first step, you created your list in Get Response. Now you're going to link your domain email to Get Response. This is important so that your emails aren't getting sent to spam, as well as uh, you're not blacklisted for using a free email provider. So to do this, you're going to log into your Get Response, and then you're going to come up to My Account. And then from there, you're going to go to Manage Account. And then from there, you're going to go to email addresses. Okay. So from here, you're going to click add email. So the name section is going to be what people see when they receive your email. So make sure it's a name or, or whatever you want your, your subscribers to see. For my case, I just put my name and then I put my domain email. So Wes at wealth in your sleep.com. And then you click add address. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Okay, so once you've done that, you're gonna get an email sent to your email inbox for that domain. Make sure you open it up and then you click confirm. This is the first authentication method. So once you've confirmed it, it'll say that your email is confirmed and ready to use. Okay, so once, so now you can actually send and you, you should be receiving your emails you know, fairly easily without hit any trouble hitting the spam folder. But there is a second authentication method that I recommend you do. So there'll be an authentication link that you click that and then a window will pop up and you'll have two items that you'll need to copy and paste. So those two items are a part of a DKIM link. DKIM is an authentication method designed to detect forged sender addresses in email, a technique often used in phishing and email spam. DKIM allows the receiver to check that an email claim to have come from a specific domain was indeed authorized by the owner of that domain. So it's pretty simple. Just go to your hosting platform. For mine, it's Namecheap. For Namecheap users, go to the hosting list and then go to your cPanel. From your cPanel, you're going to go down to Domains, and you're going to go to the Zone Editor. So if you're in a different hosting platform, go to your Zone Editor through your cPanel. So from here, you're going to want to create a TXT record. So the instructions are already there on GetResponse. So they make it fairly simple to do. So once you get to the Zone Editor, you'll click Manage. And then you're going to want to paste that first part into the name section. So you'll post that name and then it'll be your domain after that. So I think you can copy and paste the entire thing and it should be fine. And then make sure it's a TXT file and then paste that large second portion into the record, the record section. Okay, and then you'll you know submit, confirm, whatever, if there's a check. It's probably different for every hosting platform. And then, so mine I submitted about one day ago. So I assume it'll take about 48 hours or so to um, complete the authentication method. So, but you're still able to use the email in the meantime. So I've had no problems receiving emails as I've been testing it the entire time. So after that's done, you've had it, you've set up your list, you've set up your email. Now um, you're ready to go. So I suggest you build a land page, a landing page or a squeeze page or a lead capture page, however you want to call it. It's fine. Basically, you're gathering the information from your recipients. So you're going to gather their name or the, their email at the, at the minimum, their name and possibly their phone number. And I will show you how to do that in the third video. So if you haven't already done so, please hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can see all the videos that I'm posting, and then share this to any friends and family that might find this video valuable. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.